Here we are, guys. We're back at Marek's place. Say hello, Marek. Hello. He's had the van. He's done the correction after the respray from when the van was vandalised. Did I tell you the van was vandalised? I'll put a link up there to the video. So I'm really excited to see. We've also done a couple of other little jobs, which we're going to get a look at now. Uh, just let him open up. It's just opening up. So we'll get a look at what he's been up to. I'm really excited. Every time, every single time I come here, like I just get, he does such a good job. Like it's unbelievable. The van just looks gleaming. I can see it. I can see it through there. It looks amazing already. But let's, let's get in there and talk you through what we've been doing. Oh, it's changed. He's, ch he's polished the van into a Mercedes. Look at that. <laughs> Here we are, guys. What? It just looks amazing all the time. Yes. So the first thing, guys, that we've done different here is we've put the wrap on the chrome. There's two chrome strips there. And we've put some gloss black wrap on there. Mate, that looks... It looks great. It looks amazing. It Thank looks... You. It looks different, but you can't tell why it looks different. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's one of those. But, troops, that's coming off in this video. We're going to be replacing that. So we've polished out all of the overspray and everything that was here from the, from the repair job. And he's cleaned it as well. It just, every time, it just looks... <laughs> It looks amazing. I'd never want to drive it out of here, troops. That's the problem when I come here. I never want to drive it out. Uh, what else have we done? We've debadged here, troops. We've got another badge going on here, which we're going to get into on this video as well. Uh, we've took off the uh, Camby, the company that did the uh, conversion. We've took their sticker off as well. Marek has again touched up the scuffed paint from the bumper awesome. there. Just a little bit more there. And there was a bit there as well. Ah, but mate, all in all, it looks, looks, great. looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Such a great job, Marek. You do amazing work, mate. Thank you. But yeah, that's it, troops, for, for here. We're going to get this back over to uh, the car park and we're going to get the new badges on. So do look out for that in the rest of this video. Cheers, Marek. Cheers. Super job. Thank you. So there we are, troops. This should just pop off with the trim tool. I've seen a few people doing it on uh, YouTube. I always watch a video or two. Before I try it myself. That's not. Um, <laughs> that's not. That's not popping off very successfully. Let me tell you, it's not as easy as some of those other guys make it look. Let's try there. pushing the, the grill in rather than popping the badge out. That's the beauty of doing it live, troops. You get to see exactly what the situation is. I can't get the tool behind there. Let me see if I've got a better tool in the back. Try this trim tool, troops. Nope. It goes up there. Ah, there we go. I've got it started. There we go. Can hear it coming off. I've got to be careful because this is a, a backing plate. It's not all one unit, so I need to make sure that we don't drop that. There we go. It's popped off. Look. Look at that. There's that. There's the backing plate there. Bit of a wipe. And then all we do is we get the carbon fibre one. Put that in its place. Hopefully that fits in there like that. There we go. And then that should just pop back on get it lined up. That should just pop back up there. Like that. Push. There we go, troops. Make sure it's all popped in all the way around. Yeah, 
There we go. That's it, troop. Simple as that. One, one replacement, before and after. I've got a before and after shot. So I've just moved round to the back troops. You can see here, this is where Marek has took off the old badge. He did that for me while he was sorting out the, the damage from the vandalism. I know I keep talking about it, but I will keep talking about it. And what we've got is this carbon fiber black, uh, black effect. VW badge just sticks on 3M at the back. Um, so yeah, I get, the only thing with this one is getting it lined up properly, I guess. Let's get the backing off. Backing just comes off like that. Well, that's satisfying. Anyway, let's get this nice and square before we put it on there. That looks about using my fingers and thumbs as a guide. That looks about where it needs to be. I mean, it's too late once it's on. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing that, I'm putting that on, bit of pressure on there, you can hear that tape, doesn't seem like it, I just leave that there, I think you have to keep some pressure on it troops a little bit, just till it, just till it takes, I mean realistically it's not going to go anywhere but you want that glue activated as much as possible so that you're not completely debadged when you're driving down the road. A few more seconds. There we go, that's stuck on there now. A little bit there maybe. And there we have it, troops. So there you go, troops. Front and back badges replaced nicely. I look great there. It does look smart, I must admit. I do prefer it to the chromy, blingy look. Um, very cheap from Transport to HQ. I will put a link down in the description. Not sponsored, obviously, but um, they do some good stuff out there. So that's it troops, as always thanks for watching, like I said if you have enjoyed the content don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already, and wherever you are in the world do take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers troops!